The social motto in this perilous days is exactly that. It's all about selfies. It's all about self-esteem. It's all about self. Everyone's a winner. Well, that's what they teach. And that's what they be a loser. All right. We just came back recently from uh, England and North Wales, and you know we spent a lot of time over there. And we had a dear brother over there that I've mentioned here a number of times, Arthur Burke. Mm -hmm. Arthur passed away just a few years ago at 102 years old. Was still faithfully sharing the word at 101, right? He's a, a dear brother now, going on to his reward. Hallelujah. He went home. He went home. But he wrote a wonderful little book, and certainly not a bestseller, I mm -hmm. promise you, yeah. entitled How to Be Ordinary. Mm -hmm. He said in that book, humility is an obligation, not a virtue. Mm -hmm. You think about that, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to work or struggle to be ordinary. No, we you are. are. But we are. <laughs> you are. Uh, and if you, if you, if you, if your flesh is rising up against that at all, it's pride. Yeah. You are ordinary. Okay. Until you realize and accept that, you will neither know nor understand the fullness of the glory of our extraordinary. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who humbled himself. And then, as Paul wrote, for this reason also God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. And at that name, the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, 9 and 11, through 11. There's a plan. We are but ordinary clay in the hands of the master potter. Now, you may find it something of a battle to acknowledge it, right? Which is why Paul wrote to the Galatians and said, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you'll not carry out the desire of the flesh. For the flesh sets its desire against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. For these are in opposition to one another, mm -hmm. so that you may not do the things that you please. Galatians five sixteen to 17. Your flesh and your spirit, the bat, that's where the battle is raging. Always. It's raging there all the time because pride is insidious. Mm -hmm. But when you can do that, when you recognize that you're ordinary and you rejoice in that fact, mm -hmm. then like the prophet Isaiah, you will joyfully proclaim, but now, O oh Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are potter. And we are all the work of your hand, Isaiah mm -hmm. 64, 8. Amen. We're the work of his hands, the master potter. We have nothing to do with it. I pray right now that none of us, Thank the bond you. servants of the Most High God, will ever fall into the trap of being a self-made man, mm. or woman for that matter. <laughs> Is not proclaiming oneself to be self-made the absolute height of, of pride? pride? Yes. Pride being a lover of self, which will tell you that you deserve it. Isn't that something you hear on advertising a lot today? Yeah. Oh, you deserve it. You know the only thing you deserve? Death. That's right. You're born in sin and the wages of sin is death. You didn't do anything to deserve salvation. It was a free gift of God. Not of works as any man should boast. Thank God you don't get what you deserve, but you get the free gift of God. Right? I'm telling you. That's right. When it comes to the world and the things of the world, if you believe that you deserve it, it will lead you to the next item in this hit list of top perils, mm -hmm. and that is love of money, yeah. being a lover of money. So I'm, I'm closing this, but I want you to think about this. I want you to think about Colossians, or Paul wrote to the Colossians, in Colossians 3.3. 3. Mm -hmm. He said, For I have died, and my life is hidden with Christ in God. The enemy can't see you if you're hiding in Christ. Mm -hmm. But then people won't see you. Oh, no. All right. But they'll see Jesus. And that's your ministry, brother. Yeah. That's your ministry, sister, is for people to see Jesus Christ when you show up. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb oh, of God. God. And he also said, 
He must increase, but I must decrease. Father, help us all to have a heart, a desire to decrease, that there would be less of us and more of you, that people would be able to see you every place that we go. They would see your love. They would see your joy. They would see your peace. Oh, those are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Father, that they would see all of the fruit of the Holy Spirit that you have placed within us. Lord, that our lives would be a living testimony to your love. And I pray that, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Of your mighty love.